sun hymns and songs. So after that, we're going to charge our batteries. Amen. Amen. Lois, are you good? The black lady has to see you. What are you doing? It's a exam. It's a exam. It's a time is hard. Oh, my God, it's a dark year. Uh-huh. Did you pass well? Good. We can't go for that. Hallelujah. Amen. We have already prayed, so I'm not going to pray again. Today, the Lord says, I should come and share a word with you. And the message is entitled, Jesus Christ, the Tithe of God. Hey, how can that be? Can Jesus Christ be a tithe? Hmm. You've been hearing about tithe, 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 tithe. In teaching, I don't like preaching, I don't like preaching. So, I'll ask questions, alright? Then we learn from it together. When you hear the word tithe, what comes into your mind? Emanuela. Tight. What comes into your mind when you hear tight? Give something to God. Thank you. Not just something. Eh, hostess? Mm -hmm. One ten. She mentioned the number ten. So ten is very important to God. The number ten is very, very important. You come there very soon. Secondly, does every name has a meaning? Yes. Do you live according to the meaning of your name? If not, then be careful. Yes, for the meaning of the, the names you have, they are your destiny. And God did not just let your parents give you a name for nothing. Mm -hmm. What's the name of Emmanuel? God is with us. And the name of Jesus is? Savior. Good. So that means, before God told Mary and Joseph to give the name Jesus to the baby Jesus, God had a purpose for that name. You get me right? So Jesus had to live according to the meaning of his name. Right? The book of Isaiah said, unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Right? His name shall be called Emmanuel. That means God with us. Jesus Christ as God, when he came, he was with us. And he is now also with us. You get me up to this point. So, get something done today. Every time you hear about tight, 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 I listen to many preachers. Everybody goes straight to the book of Malachi. But it didn't start from there. When Ella told me to prepare this, I said, God, again. But I remember last year I taught you something. Remember? God didn't even take me there. He brought my spirit first to what I'm going to teach you today in the secret behind tight. Question number two. Who started tight? Uh, no. uh -huh. Abraham. Everybody says Abraham. What is Abraham? 
It was God who started it. I'm going to show you. And it is still blew my mind when God told me this. Now, the next slide says, Titan is a shadow. Christ is the reality. If the Israelites had been prophetic people, and if we are to be prophetic people, we will see that the ancient type points to Jesus, who is the person, the place, the reason for our salvation. So tight in Christ is a place, is a person, and is a reason for your salvation. Amen. Amen. Last Sunday, where were we? Conversion. What conversion did you go? Something happened for the Easter to happen. What was it? He says resurrected. Before he is resurrected, he should die first, right? Good. Did God know Jesus was going to die? Yes. Imagine you have a son. You get pregnant, the women. You get pregnant, nine months, spitting, pain, everything. And you know that when you give birth to your child, three years, you will die. You know that before. How would you feel? You will not even prefer to give birth, right? But God did it for you. That's the first time God paid for you. Follow me closely. If you get a background to this, nobody will beg you to, for, for you to pay your tithe. Nobody will do that. Nobody will even force you. But because we don't understand it, that's why we have to talk and talk and talk. But they take this revelation. Amen. 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 The next slide says, Before Christ came to this earth, there were already ten people who had been here. The first person that God made was called Adam. Adam lived for 930 years. And between this time, he got a son called Seth. Seth also lived for 912 years. He had a son called Enosh or Enoch. Where is he? He's there. there he is. Okay. Enoch also gave birth to Canaan. Canaan gave birth to Mahalalel. Mahalalel gave birth to Jared. Jared gave birth to Enoch. There is a difference between Enosh and Enoch. This is the Enoch who lived 365 years and God carried him away. He was the youngest. Enoch gave birth to a man called Methuselah. He was the oldest. How many years did he live? Okay. I want you to open your Bibles to Genesis chapter 5. Genesis chapter 5. It's a very, very lengthy story, but I have summarized it and it's on the screen. Because of time, I'm going to cut certain things very short for you. Genesis is the first book, my dear, Emanuela. Please, because I don't feel too much. Genesis chapter 5. When you read there, all the things I'm saying is there. That was just, can you read from verse 3 for me? Genesis chapter 5, verse 3. Genesis chapter 5, verse 3. Yes, please. Uh -huh. And Adam lived 130 years. Uh -huh. And begat a son in his own likeness mm -hmm. after his image. Uh -huh. And called his name Seth. So who gave birth to Seth? Adam. Continue from verse 9. I'm uh, sorry, from verse 6. Uh, 6. Uh -huh. And Seth lived 105 years, uh -huh. and began Enosh. Enosh. So you see, Seth also gave birth to Enosh. Go to verse 9. And Enosh lived 90 years, uh -huh. and began Canaan. Canaan. Thank you. Go to verse 12. And Canaan lived 70 years, uh -huh. and began Mahalalel. 13. 13. And Canaan lived after he began Mecha Lalel, 840 years. Uh -huh. and, and then sons and daughters. Uh -huh. Go on. And all the days of Canaan were 910 years. Thank you. Sit down. We can continue as we verse 32. All these 10 names I have listed on the screen. One give birth to this, one give birth to that, one give birth to that. The Bible mentioned their ages. It was not just for nothing. When you read the Bible, even a comma is important. All of them lived nicely. Let me go here. Lamech lived seven, seven, seven years. And the last one, Noah, lived 950 years. When you total all these years together, you can add to the number of 1,650 years. 
the first 10 generation, that number is not anything anyhow. I'll go deeper very soon. That's where tithe mm -hmm. came from. So, why did God mention this 10 and he stopped? Remember, Genesis chapter 9. Sin was so much in the world, God said, I'm going to wipe everybody from the surface of the earth. I'm going to kill everybody. Who did God choose to preserve the rest of the world? Who? No one. That's number, number 10 on the list. Let me go back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Does Ty say something to you? Does Ty say something to you? Yes. yes. So he gave Noah as a tie to the whole world and saved the whole world from drowning. Before they say, come, I'm going to destroy the whole world. Come into this ark. People say, ah, ah, quarry bar. I'm living in my mansion made of blocks. And you tell me I'm, I have to leave my blocks mansion and live in a wooden boat? Must be mad. And when the rain came, the concrete was swept off and the wood was floating. So how many people were saved in the ark? Noah and his three sons and their wives, Noah and the wife, making eight people, they were saved. So the tent always brings salvation. Are we getting somewhere? Good. The next slide says, putting together, oh, sorry, let me go back one step. Go back one step for me with the arrow up here. This one. Uh -huh. Every name has a meaning, as I said earlier on, yeah? yeah? Adam means man. Seth means appointed. Enosh means mortal. Canaan means sorrow. Mahalo means the blessed God. Jared means shall come down. Enosh, or Enoch, sorry, meaning teaching. Methuselah means his death shall break. Lamech means the despairing. And Noah means rest or comfort. Now, this is not coincident. When you put the names, the next slide, the names of these men together, this is the sentence you have. Man is appointed mortal sorrow. The blessed God shall come down, teaching. His death shall bring to despairing a rest. What comes into your mind? Man is appointed mortal sorrow. As the Bible says, we beat Jesus, we make him stricken. He was sorrowful. The blessed God shall come down. Who came down? Who came down? Is it saying something to you now? Good. The blessed God shall come down teaching. When he says, what did he do? He teach everywhere he went. His death shall bring. Last Sunday you went to confession, as I asked you, he death shall bring what? To the despairing rest. Those who are in their sin, he says death shall give us rest. So the first ten people were referring to who? Jesus. Jesus. That is where tithe came from. This is shocking. Not everybody knows it, but you know today. So the moment you said, I received Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior, what have you received? God. No. You have received what? Not that. You have received a tithe. Yes, you have received God's tithe. You didn't know, eh? Now you know. Are you getting somewhere? So, we go on. After Noah, he gave birth to also Shem and other people. You follow also Noah's line. He gave birth to Shem. Shem gave birth to uh, uh, Abraham, Selah, wherever, wherever. Until we get to who? Abraham. So, after Noah, ten generations after came the man called Abraham. And God said, Abraham, come out of your house. He also chose Abraham out. That was another number ten. Is that coincidence? No. Hold on. Fasten your seatbelt. <laughs> the next one. When Abraham came, he gave birth to Isaac, Isaac to Jacob, Jacob to uh, 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 Judah and the rest. And you come down to Boaz. You remember that story? Noah, uh, sorry, Ruth and Ruth and 
Yes. So Boaz also had children with Ruth. He had Obed, <coughs> Jesse. The one I analyzed is who? You remember that one? Yes. See where they are coming from? All the way down to Ozia. God chose him out. He said, Ozia, you come out from the tent. He said another one with Ozia again to Jotam, Akas, all the way to Abiod. That's the great grandfather of Joseph, Mary's uh, husband with Jesus, right? And from them to Eliakim, all the way down to Jesus. Joseph. The carpenter from there Jesus came. Jesus was the number. So if you raise your hands, Lord, I receive you as my brother and princess, not Savior. What have you received? Praise God. Jesus. Kind of secret, if you don't before the mysteries, if you don't understand them, and we say pay tight, we say, ah, my jiska, jia, jia, jia. Nobody said what you have received, you are giving it back. As simple as that. You salvation, Christ make it for free. But it's only gratis. It costs him. It might cost you something too. Amen. Amen. You know, last year's teaching was different from today, right? Look at their faces. <laughs> Don't be surprised. This Bible, we call it, it's like a city. So many things are in. But if God's Spirit has not directed you into it, you can never know. Amen. Amen. So, I'm now hitting the main point. The next slide says, definition and purpose of the tithe. As sister defined it, a tenth of your annual produce or earnings for the support of the church or the clergy. Somebody said, I will build up my church and the gate of hell shall not be able to fail. Who is saying that? Who said that? Jesus. You build up the church. So when you give up your tithe, what are you supporting? What Jesus has built. We don't give our tithe to pastors and elders, but no. We are giving it to the church that Jesus planted. For that, Jesus, who you are talking about, you have already received him. So the tithe you have received, you have also had to give it back. Amen. You go on. The purpose and principle. The main principle behind tithe is the fact that what we do with our money shows where our heart is. Matthew chapter 6, verse 21. Jesus said, Whatever your money is, or your, your treasure is, that's where your heart will go. Simple. It's true. That's why at 5 o'clock, you wake up. Go to work. You brush your teeth, do everything. You'll be watching the time, watching the time, watching the time. Meanwhile, you start the work at 7 o'clock, but you wake up at 5. For Boska. For Bokash. Because your heart is there at the working place. Because you know that if you don't go there on time, you'll be fired. That's where your heart is. And my question is, where is your heart today? Is your heart where the money is? Or is your heart is with the church of God? Answer it for yourself. But I'm telling you that you have received something. So, what you have received, we want it back. That's so tight. Amen. Amen. I proceed. Purpose again for the tithe is that when we are able to release at least, I use the word there, at least, I'm coming to the word at least, 10% of our income back to God, our money does not have a tithe of hold on us because we realize that God is in control for all our finances. Amen. When you give to him, you are telling him, God, I'm giving you back oh, this nine. It might not be sufficient for me, but God said, don't worry. As long as you are giving me back what I give to you, I'm going to help you. Mm. So everybody you can make their money, but they can't spend it. Yes. Not that they don't know their way to H&M mm. or Zara, mm. but they are best stricken. They are, bad. They are in the bed. They can't even walk. Stroke. They are less as swollen, but they have money mm. in the banks. Yes. <laughs> Paying tight will help you improve your life and it strengthens your relationship with God. It doesn't do anything for you by yourself. It makes your relationship with God stronger. Mm. Especially, who is married here? 
Will it? Okay. Give me a All right. The more you take care of your wife, the more closer you become. Is that not true? Yes. That's true. Who has a boyfriend here? Uh, Girlfriend here? Don't lie, you have them. Is he has a boyfriend? Okay. <laughs> Robert, she told me. Okay. If you don't have one, I thank God. But if you have one, don't do anything bad. That, that was no problem for that. The more he gives to you, the more you give to him, the more you are connected. Is that not it? I'm not saying go and look for a boyfriend today. <laughs> But it's, it's temptation inside now. <laughs> so the Titan help you to increase and you become committed to God at all times. Mm -hmm. One of the ways God enables us to create wealth is by rebuking the devourer and keeping Satan away from destroying our finances. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you can be rich, you can have money, mm -hmm. but you will not have time to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Why? You don't have peace of mind. Mm -hmm. Every time this is done, this is here, debt here and there. You make the money, but it goes off. Yeah. I was listening to one program the other day. The man said, the pastor told him, they have put holes in your hands. Mm -hmm. So the moment the money enters, <laughs> it falls off. It's stupid. Yeah. Mr. Pastor, tell the person that the devourer is after his finances. The man doesn't pay this time. He doesn't pay. But the pastor wants to pocket the money. There's no hold nobody's hands. Mm -hmm. If you come to me and tell me that uh, you're being, I'm not, not going to pray for you. Yeah. I will teach you the principles of money spending. I mean, finance. That's how I will teach you. Mm -hmm. There's no hold nobody's hand or nobody's pocket. So if I had there's a, a hole in my pocket, why is my car key, which is bigger, doesn't fall off? But I put money, it falls off. No. Okay. Check out your spending. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Amen. Amen. No. So when God blocks the devourer from you, it means sicknesses will stay away from you. Peace of mind will come to you. Things you're supposed to spend money on, it will not come. Then you save that money for the future. The next one says, but there's a condition that we must follow. We must bring our tent into the storehouse, that is the church. This could be found in Malachi 3, verse 10, verse 11. So God says, Bring all the tithes. Where does the tithes come from? Whatever you have earned, whatever you've got, you've received, monthly or weekly, just divide it to ten. Take one for him. Because he gave Christ one for you. Mm. You say, no, 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 I'll keep all the ten. Ten the grass and so did. That's wrong. You know why that's not song? You know why? He will release the devourer to come after you. And the problems you pass through, then you go extra borrowing. So imagine you got 100 euro this month. You keep all to yourself. That's no problem. God will send the devourer after you, and you go on spending the 100 euro off. I am here. If you are to own. <laughs> you spend the 100 euro off, you step on to. Air hostess, can you borrow me 20 euro because well, all the money for this one is gone? Then you go in deficit 20 euro minus. Is that not happening? Yes, it is. Happening. Whereas if you had given God 10 euro out of the 100, remaining 90, God will make sure that 90 you will spend and some will still remain. Yes. Have you forgotten about this woman that Elisha went to? Say, I have a tiny oil. So go and gather jars. Fill it. How can one single jar, can I have a bottle of water here? One single jar like that fill empty pans. That's the work of God. But we, we have limited God so much that giving him something is painful to us. But remember the names you mentioned, the first ten people. See how God works? You know what is going to happen tomorrow. Amen. 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 Good. We continue. God tells us to, first and foremost, He tells us in His word to tithe. We are to obey Him. Thus, we are to pay our tithe. Who is obedient here? Raise your hands if you're obedient. But I know you are not. <laughs> but the way you are doing, yes, you are not. Do you understand obedience? Do you understand obedience? 
Obedient. Can hold some sign? Yeah. As Paul said, slap until you. Till you slap. That's the whole sign. Nigga do na carry call me. That be ya here. Self five pretty for the tight. That's the whole sign. Need you add it in the door. Your Facebook check here. Alice updating. That pass call me. That's the whole sign. That is you're doing your own thing. Which language do you prefer I speak? I will fix everything. So when you speak, and you don't understand the word, you raise up your hands. Then I go, because I'm teaching, I'm not preaching. So anything you don't understand, just raise up your hand, okay? So, God says we should do it, and you say, no, no, now do it. You are not being obedient to him. Amen. Amen. Who wants to go to heaven? Lois? Lois? <laughs> I can't see your hand, Lois. I know. That's right. You know what I go to heaven, eh? Are there these people in heaven? No. Oh, are you sure? Are there thieves in heaven? No. no. Hey. Yes. But we are thieves. No. How can we go there? That's a question. We must change before. Eh? The book of Malachi says you are robbing from him. Robert, you don't want to go? You want to go? Okay. At the end of the sermon, you know whether you'll be there or not. Thank you. Good. God is smarter than we are, and his ways are higher, as Isaiah said in 55. He said, God's ways are higher than your ways. You might think the 90 euro left over will not be enough for you and the kids. God said, you are joking. Don't little me. Ah. One day a lady lost 100 euro from me. He said, hey, brother, you look fine. I said, thank you. God has blessed me beyond my deserving. Wow, then show me something. I said, what do you want me to show you? He said, give me something. I said, what do you want me to give you? Mm, give me 10. I said, ah! Sister, don't insult my integrity. Hey. Yes! Hey. I am peeping my suit asking me for 10 euro. What's wrong with you? <laughs> and then when they are 300 euro, this is for you. Now you are joking. I said, bye bye. <laughs> I was to give. I will give. I'm not boasting, but I want her to know that God has blessed me beyond what she was asking me. Mm. Like asking me for 10 euros, what's wrong with you? Mm. If you meet me, don't ask me 10 euros, eh? Yeah. I'll, I'll beat you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's how God is. His ways are higher than our ways. The 90 euros that you want to squeeze, you make a way out that you spend 50 of the 90, 40 will still remain. That's the God we serve. Amen. So don't think. The student job I had, oh, this one is only 116 euro. It's not Eric. Take the 16 euro out for the 116. The rest is for you. Yeah, my school book, my school has a cupboard. God knows it. You think he doesn't know? Before you sleep, you go to bed, you put the alarm clock by your bedside. Did you know you were going to wake up? But you put the alarm. God came and said, Wake up. Go. Oh, when they are going, a man will be in a tram. Don't sit there, sit the other side. Okay. Uh -huh. When the tram gets off, there will be a packet. It's meant for you. The idea that came to man, where did it come from? You know where they have found money on the floor before, right? Yeah. It doesn't happen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll come to that. Let's move on. When there's extra time. Okay. <laughs> what I get that does tight do? The next one is tight keeps you focused on and trusting in God. If you want to know if you can trust God, strip your tight. It keeps you focused on Him. You say, hey God, I've given you my 10%. But well, I'm expecting you. God, where, where are you? You promised me you. you God, your focus is on Him. How much is that fagan? That fagan, how much does it cost? A dose from that fagan? Three euros. Three euros. Somebody can drink one that fagan in a bit, you never be well. Do you believe that? You drink a drink, it doesn't work. Nine euros, ten euros, it doesn't work. You go to hospital, you pay 25 euros to the doctor, that's what you do here. You give you prescription, you step into the apothecary to buy the, 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 the medicine. End of the day, about 30, 40 euro is gone. It, it happens, right? Good. Let's reverse the clock. You have 100 euro. 
God said, give me ten. Say no. That is mine. You spend it on that wagon. <laughs> yes. But he has said, I will cause the divorce to flee away from you. Sickness will run away. You will not feel sick. You will be on energetic every day. I don't know the last time I went to the doctor. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't, what am I going to do there? Nothing. Yes. Last time I said, ah, and this is good. But sometimes come and take your pressure. I said, pressure? What is pressure? What is pressure? <laughs> I don't have nothing to pressurize me. I give all my cares to him. And if I sleep, my wife says, hey, the way you sleep, if somebody comes to this house, how would you do that? You know, nobody can. <laughs> <laughs> what are they come to do? No There's fear. fire around my house. Who is coming for what? No fear. Ah, my dad, you have a crop of a I don't care. And when I'm going to work, the only thing I check is who I'm picking the next morning. I'm picking the person 9.30, I wake up, no mind time, do my quiet time, relax, and I leave home. No stress, no pressure. I'm late. Uh -huh. No. Hey, hey. Ah, that's fancy, so. Yeah. It's a high time we begin to live in the spirit. Yes, let them say you are too spiritual, that is better. Yes. But it's the best thing is, give your best to God because he gave his best to you. Amen. The first 1,076 years of this earth, God gave Christ to you. Amen. And now, 2018, give him 10 and say, nah, nah, nah. But the money we spend on this thing we use in our faith, what do you call it? Pons. The pawns, the makeups, is much more than even your tithes. Mm -hmm. How much does your phone cost? Mm -hmm. But you don't even have a Bible. Hey. Yes, this is as serious, eh? Serious. This is as serious. Serious. I have my Bible I come to church with. I have my study Bible. I have the Bible on my bedside. I have Bible on my desk, my office. I have a Bible on my tablet and on my iPhone. How many Bibles do I have? Three. I want the Bible to be around me at all times. I'm not going, I'm not saying go and buy them and waste them when I don't read them. Mm. But invest in God's kingdom. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Let me pause here. Any questions so far? I'm teaching, eh? So any question about Titan and why you should pay it? Mm -hmm. Oh, there was I, a word. I have a question. Okay, there was a word you made. The devourer. The devourer, okay. The devourer, um, have you, when you watch Discovery, if you see a lion chasing one animal, it catches it, then it breaks the neck. So forget the animal, he dies. You see how the animal eats, how the lion eats the animal? How, 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 how? That is devouring. It's devouring. Well, we're in a rough. Or you are hungry, you get the butter ham. Ah, you fight into your ham, 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 ham. You devour it. The difference between eating and devouring. Yeah. Eating and eating, tiny and little. Mm -hmm. And devouring, a full of mum. So when the Satan comes to you, but come off full of mum. You put your sickness here, huh? uh, menstruation pain here, huh? headache there. Huh? Yeah, then, oh God, I can't even stand up to go to work. Then you call to your working place. I can't come, okay, don't worry. Interim, bring somebody here, and the person is a tight payer. The person will fix your place. You'll be there working, you'll be sacked. Mm -hmm. That's a divorce. Due to this sickness we are seeking, sometimes God allows it to happen, eh? To draw us back to where we belong. Yeah. Question. Have I answered you? Yes. That's a divorce. Sometimes, if you're a farmer, people will grow their crops. Why? Hey, the wages are come to my no wages. Then I want to be there. Yeah. 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 No. This place where Ghana always go. Where does Pastor live? Pastor Lupa. Lupa. There's one Ghana woman there. If you go to her house, close. So in here, so in here, so in here, so in there. People will be lying up collecting there. Even if it's a small ten euro you pay. 
You come home, you fit, you have some fit, and you try to go to Zara next week. Are you not wasting money? Yes. But God knows you have given him your 10%. And you know that your tire is like this. And the cloth is that God will make sure that cloth will fit you. Yes. And you wear it and you feel good. You don't waste another money to the same thing. No, no, no. That's the work of God. Come for God. The race is laughing. <laughs> okay. The next one says, sometimes economically, things are hard, things are tough, things are expensive. But that's the time for you to trust God the more. You must say now, Trump is now says euro fighting. Two was three euro. It's an example I've given you. Eh? If I have to give 110 euro now, then 90 euro, so, 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 so. You'll be checking. Ah, don't worry. Let me put this 10 euro in my this one now. Next week, God, I'll pay you. Don't worry. I'll say, no problem. Pay me next month. We shall see the next month. We'll come and meet you. <laughs> He's the one who holds your. So, God's financial blessings are bound when you tight. So, why would you want to stop flowing of God's blessings when you need Him the most? Obviously, God can bless at any time. Eh? At any way, God can bless you at any time. You can do good to Shaki, God will bless you for doing good to Shaki. You can even save Shaki's life, God will bless you on that. But when it comes to tithe, it's something different altogether. Different. Amen. Amen. Are you following me? Gifty, are you here? Good. Thank God you are here. Alright. The next one is, when you pay the tithe, he will help you escape the curse that is already in the world. Is there a curse in this world? When did the curse come? Read your Bible. Oh. Thank you. When Adam sinned, Genesis chapter 3, God said, Curse is the ground for you. You go and sweat. Men is supposed to sweat. The women are supposed to have childbearing problems. But the women are even sweating more than the men. <laughs> There are cases here in this world. So your tithe is going to open up those things and blessings will count. Amen. What does blessing mean? Bless means? Yeah. He said the key name for your blessing. Yeah. 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 Meaning, as a child, to be happy. Yeah. Do yeah. you know that you might not have money in your pocket, but you are happy? Yeah. Why? There's no bad news coming from anywhere. No. They will not call and say your grandmother is dead or your your man is in accident. Oh, somebody sent me a WhatsApp yesterday. In fact, it was very bad. The, uh, a guy worked in a false factory in the UK. He fell from the top. He said everything was happy. He was dead. He said in the pool of blood. The mother will hear the news in Ghana. Will it be peaceful? No. The father will hear the news. You can't sleep. When you pay your time, all these things are being sealed. Blessing is not only when God makes you buy a Ferrari, when you're supposed to buy a Fiat. No. <laughs> you don't hear bad news. Amen. Things become well for you. Amen. You always look fresh. Mm. When I say, put my eyes, ah, nah, 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 that can be. Yes, I'm old. And I look good. Yes. Amen. Amen. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9 to 10 says, Honor the Lord with your substance, with the first fruit of it your increase. So shall your barns be full of plenty, and thy prayers shall burst out with new wine. Honor the Lord with your substance. What do you have? Well, always start with what you have. She's tired. Did you want to uh, all night last night? And say, honor the Lord with your substance. What do you have? What did you receive? Even if you receive 10 euro a week, Practice this today to help you. Put an euro in a in a susu box. One euro in a clone. You see ten euro. One euro clone. Don't worry about that. Don't worry. End of the month, bring the whole uh, susu box here. We open it and take the coins out. And God sees you practicing this from this age. You saw how many years was Matisa. Mm. All those people they live nine hundred years and above. The second generation was shorter. The next generation shorter. Next time I'll go on to premature death. You know what I'm talking about. Why we die so early, so quick. 
you go and teach on that. Yeah. Sometimes you see on the uh, on the paper, court glory. Court to go to you, 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 you hold on. The age will come down, they say obituary uh, 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 gone too soon. What a shock. <laughs> you know the latest one? When I went to Ghana, I found the latest one. Oh, why? Oh, why? Oh, why? I don't know who they're asking their question. If the dead person they're asking their question, or the person who killed him, or the person who. Oh, why? Like, prematurely. And that's what tight does. God help you that the divorce doesn't come to you. Amen. If you are a mother, have children, or by all means you all have children, you want to have a peace of mind and sleep at night, pay your time from now. I tell you, because what painful is that your children are in Kalawani children, eh? you don't have peace. Police will be ringing your doorbell. The <laughs> rising kids, my name, they are my kids. Yeah, uh, 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 uh. every day you go to police after that. <laughs> yes, why are Kalawani? Stop one child. We never have peace, eh? <laughs> So when they say blessing, blessing means happy. Um, if your child is always involved in the uh, color body, say, will you be happy? No. no. The word blessing means simple as a happy. <laughs> eh, who is this? Eh, who is this? Are you picturing your child here, color body? No. Yes, I'm your child. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You go on. Good. I have written something in red. And I want you to open your Bible and you read it. <coughs> Deuteronomy chapter. Oh, it's already on it, but I want you to open your Bible so that you underline it. Deuteronomy 8 18. Deuteronomy is Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. Good, it's there. If you are there, say, I'm there. If you are not there, say, Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> nice. That's Bible. Do you have the one written one? Right. Okay. Deuteronomy 8 18. Shaki is there. Say hallelujah, Shaki. You are not there. James, where is your Bible? So please. No, no, I want. I know it's there, but I've told everybody to pick up. Who is not there? Say hallelujah. Deuteronomy. You see, because you don't pick the you see, you can't even open it. It's very embarrassing when you get to the street. I say, hello, praise God. Are you a Christian? Yes, please, I have a Bible here with me. Can you open and read for me in Isaiah 14, 14? And you will flip the Bible up. It should be a shame, right? To be a shame. So, I, please, I always, whenever I stand here, I, I beg you, bring the written Bibles. Ted John, you start from Revelations and then you come back this way. If you get there closer. Who is that? Deuteronomy 1818. Yours is P, right? Give it to me. Let me read the P. Have you opened it? Are you sure? Hey, you are still in the Have you opened it? Looking for me. Read it for me. Listen. She's reading from Deuteronomy I want one King James before we go to the tree. One King James. Please, read yours. King James, Christian. Yours is Holy Bible, King James. All right, go ahead. But you shall remember the Lord your God. You shall remember who? The Lord your God. Why should you remember him? The word for me is because he 
gives you power to get wealth. He gives what? Power. He gives what? Power. Please, you can say that. Amen. Another version says he gives you the ability. Yeah. Yes, to make. To make what? Wealth. To make what? Wealth. The money you are making, who gave you the power to make? God. Yes. Please, go on with the Say, <laughs> <laughs> Here. I say, yeah. Oh, you look. And if you take pass. And I say, <laughs> Some children have their own 11, 12 years that I went, right? But you are 40, but you are not coming for yours. I say, God forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> you want to give me maybe sterical one, I don't want no sterical one. I need only for my Bible. The Bible letters are very small. Uh, this iPhone says that the light always ready to your eyes very bad. He says, remember your God, your Lord, who gives you the power, the ability, the wisdom, the strength to make the money you are making. And how do you remember God, Shaki? How do you remember him? Yes, by paying your tithe. Thank you. Let's go for it. Yes. So when the money comes, don't pocket it. Remember the one who gives you the strength. Because when the alarm goes up, I have says, you fall back to the bed, he said, my friend, wait cow, wait cow, cow, and then he give you the ability to go and come back. But when the month ends, you put your green pass in the health automat, wow, your eye goes like 10 directions. Zara, uh, uh, H&M, C and A, the Taz for Gucci, the whole of it. You begin to stand there and doing all these kind of things, you forget your car. That's no problem. Go and spend that, you forget him. Next month, Normally you work 40 hours, 36 hours. Company will call you. Nowadays you have scarcity of production. You come and work half day. Is that happening? Yeah. It's happening. You work with others there, they are doing 40 hours, you're doing half time. Devora has been set in. People just are working, that are happening. It's not Zoma, eh? It's not just anyhow. There are spiritual implications back in it. So the nice point is. God's principle of work, no matter, we go back again. Uh -huh. He says, God's principles work, no matter what the outside circumstances are, and no matter what the economy looks like. Maybe the company is producing too much. They want to sack some people. But God said, no, 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 because you remembered me, I will also remember you still your work. The rest will go home. Is it not happening? It's happening. We might look like we are young now, but the foundation we lay today will tell you what you build on the next day. Amen. Amen. Some people also will tell you on the Facebook that this thing we are talking about time, it was the Old Testament something. Yes. Let's go on to this one. It might be in the Old Testament. How old is God? How old is God? Do you know how old God is? No. But the Bible says he never changed, he's forever the same. If he was there at Methuselah's time, he is now here in your time. He has not changed. Then what make you think that what he wrote that those days is for them, but not for you? Look there. Genesis chapter 14, that is where Abraham, by that time we call him Abraham, he paid his first time to, um, to who? Melchizedek. That's the teaching we did previously. I'm not going to that. The next one was Jacob, Genesis 18 to 20, 28, 22. Jacob said, God, if you protect me on my journey and bring me out and bring me in, I'm going to give an offering unto you, and everything that I get, I will pay a tithe unto it to you. Now, wait a minute. Who taught Abraham how to pay tithe? Who even taught um, Jacob how to pay tithe? It's not in the Bible. Nobody taught them. <coughs> But the point is, how did they know? Because something divine knowledge. They knew it from their ancestors. 
that at every point in number 10, God does something. So they knew it. You really might not be lucky to know them. That's why teachers are said to teach you these things. And again, Deuteronomy 12, 14, 26, Malachi 3, 8, everything is written down there for us to know. But we don't read our Bibles. Good. So then God said to tell you. So, Matthew, the New Testament, he says confirmed it. He told them, you scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites. Hmm? Is there? Read your Bible and see if I'm lying. Matthew 23, 23. Go there. Matthew 23, 23. Matthew 23, 23. Because of that, let me read. He said, woe to you, scribes, Pharisees, eh? Eh? All of you read together with me. Whoa, 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 whoa. One, two. Hold on. I told you last time. This exclamation sign is referring to which word? So why do you see exclamation sign? What do you do? You explain. So let's go again. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees. Hypocrites. What did he do next? You pay tight on men. Okay, let me hold it there. The reason why he said hypocrites is that. Oh, sister, how are you? Oh, I love God bless you. In your face, I smile behind you. Am I being honest with you? No. I don't work. Oh, I don't work. Come to Friday service. I'll go to work. <laughs> Are you a liar or a hypocrite? You come to Sunday. I forever, oh Lord, I want to settle. Somebody give me wallet. Forever. Put the microphone. Oh, no. Wallet, eh? You are going for offering. Forever, oh Lord. <laughs> you are a hypocrite. You are pimping the big money down the wallet, the green down the wallet, and God is at the coins. So he shouted at you, hypocrites. If you don't have, God knows you don't have, he knows you. If you have, he knows you. Don't come and pretend as if you're real. God, he was real to you. Amen. 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 Grab my mm -hmm. okay. What did he say? He said, You pay the tithe on the mate. Do and comment. Let me short it for you. Let me paraphrase it. It means the tiniest thing you pay the tithe on it. That's bad. That's not bad. But the weightier matters of the law, you neglect them. Being judgment, being mercy, you neglect those important things and focus only on the tithe. It's good, all right, but don't neglect those important things and focus only on the tithe alone. The disciple did not condemn tithe. Luke 18, two guys went to pray. God, you know me. Oh, God, hallelujah. Every day I pay my tithe. Oh, I pay my friend. I don't sin. When the young girls are going, I don't look at their back. Me, I am clean and not like this guy there. Hypocrite. This guy, he doesn't even have money to feed a wife and children. He always come to pay money from me. Look at him. Me, God, you know me, you know my heart. Look at that guy, look at even his shoes. He can't even have money. <laughs> that is real. He says condemn that guy's attitude, but not his tight pay. You can pay your tight, but you live righteously. You can't use tithe to bribe God. That one for sure. You can't use tithe to bribe God. Uh -huh. He will discipline you. At the moment, you know, you see me going, you know, go go. Look, eleven forty-six, forty-two. Let's read together. I told you, Pharisees. Hey, look, read again. But told you, Pharisees. Again. But told you, Pharisees. Are there Pharisees here? Yes. If you are Pharisee, let me see your hand. Lift up your hands. Those people, they put on their turban, white garment, clean! 
San Simonas for the Joy City. Clean, hey! But doing the right thing, they will not do. Do you have some in the church? Yeah, they did, they did. Do you have some in the church? Yeah. Nine o'clock, the service begins. 9.30, they walk in. <laughs> Pharisees here? Yeah. Hey, Amen. Let me go because of time. You've been struggling with Titan on a tight budget. Or if you have stopped Titan altogether, I encourage, I'm ending now. I encourage you to start only even with a small percentage and work your way up for something. Hmm? You might think, I'm fed up giving money to Pentecost, everyday money, everyday money. Fine! <laughs> but, you know, Jesus said, do unto others. Continue. You lie, that's not what he said. Do unto others as. As. So you want me to use my money for us to pay the electricity bill? Then you come and enjoy it. Hey, fair? No. It's not fair. Now, Dickin uh, Eric, me I promoted you to Dickin already. When he came, few code, he play, he plugged on the heating system. Yes, like a water. Who is paying for the bill? Eric. <laughs> <laughs> now when the light is turned off, you don't have no more projector. The light will shut off, no more instruments. Who is paying for the electricity bill? Church. Whose money? You say the church. But who formed the church? You and me. So we have to be honest with each other. Amen. Amen. The last point is this one. Galatians passage verse 9. This time you're all reading together again. And let us not grow weary while doing good. For in due season, we shall reap if we don't lose heart. Amen. Amen. We should not get tired of it. Even though it's painful to put the money out like the But the Bible says I should tell you that if you don't give up, in a short time, you're going to reap what you have sown. What was our last quotation taken from me that mean that I saw our last quotation, where was it taken from? <laughs> huh? You see, if you talk like this, then you better stay home. You understand know, what I'm saying? Uh -huh. When we come here, we learn together, right? So if I stand here, I spend nights to prepare this, God give me the strength, and I come to share with you, we can talk to each other. It's not nice, eh? Yeah, it's not good, eh? Clap for me, then. No, 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 no. Please. You clap for me? Then clap for God, then. Don't talk again. So the Bible says we should not grow weary. The way we be tired. What you are bread, and you should go say bread. In due time, you will lift you up. How many of us are liars in the house? Galatians chapter 5 says liars will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You know that. Satan is the best liar. Hmm? Okay. Spell the word sin. How do you spell sin? What does it mean? Sin. S I N, Satan in nature. Yes. <laughs> Satan. Anytime you lie, you are Satan in nature. You don't lie. You work, you say you don't work. You receive income, you say you don't receive income. Are you not lying? You are Satan in nature. God does not want Satan in nature there in heaven. Amen. So today is the last supper Sunday. I told you right from the beginning, God gave Christ to us as his tie to you. He laid his life down, his life down for you. And he poured out his blood. And he said, anytime you gather, anytime you gather like this, eat my flesh and drink my blood. It's going to be a fountain in you. The first time God gave you, it's right there. Can I ask? Ask me anything there. What if the, uh, the money you earn up in a month is not enough to pay your tithes? How is it? It's ten percent. Uh, I mean, ten percent of your salary. Minimum. But what if your money, the, the money your expenses, you have, yeah, it's, it's not, not enough? enough. God will make a way. But it seems to, be, it seems to be, be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. 
He will make a way for me. He will be my guide. Hold me close to His side. With all the strength for this new day. He will make a way for me. He will make a way. I love this song. I, I never knew I could sing like that. Eh? Hey. That's why Malachi 3 said, test me and see. You think it's not enough? Test me and see. The faith. It's the faith that I do. Let's see. Maybe you didn't read the 10%. Mm -hmm. Is the money still enough for you? <laughs> no. It's not enough. Mm -hmm. You didn't read the, read the 10%. Is it not enough? Because don't worry. If it's not <laughs> enough, I'm going to make it much more than enough. You were surprised. You take the bull step and say, God, I'm testing you with it because you said, I should tell you. Hey, you go to school, right? End of the service, end of the uh, uh, semester or the school year, do you test your school teacher? No. Hmm. You, don't you, don't, you don't test him. He rather test him. Can you test God? No. But he said, test me. How can a teacher, a student, test his master? <laughs> it can't work. But God, I'm going to do something abnormal. Test me and see. That's why he's saying that. No matter how small it is, do it. Something will happen. You know enough? You receive a letter from OCMW. Come, me frau, blah, blah, blah. We see that you are struggling with your income. We want to take care of you. Really? Yes. God will make a way. Before you realize you are not free, I tell you, try and see. You are a student. You'll be struggling with one second and the other. You crack and crack and crack, it doesn't go well. Start paying from the least you receive. Mm -hmm. To God, nothing is missed there. Eh? Mm -hmm. People here, we work. Most of you work. But when it comes to tight, myself, Eric, and Elder, I don't even know, three, four. But the money is not going to any human being. Eh? This room, we pay 500 and something. You have to pay. What are you giving? What do you have? Next time, when God's allowed, I'm going to teach you from zero to hero. So you see that whatever you have is important. Then I'm going to drive my car. God blow me ideas, ideas, ideas. Wow! And so when I'm doing this, I don't really understand where those things come from. You drop ideas, sister. Start doing something. God will do something bigger for you. But what if you don't have what you, you really want to pay your time? If you don't have, Maybe you don't you have. Not ten percent, but you pay a little of it. I mean, a little. What is a little? Did, did God give a little of Jesus? Part of it. Did yeah, God? Did God give a little of Jesus, or He gave all? No, maybe 